Wait, what? Is this a pump? Hold on. <laughs> it's just too much. I can't deal with it. And I do a dabble, dabble, dabble. A dabba dabba do. I would be over the, <laughs> over the moon about it. Why I just said a lot, talking so much smack. What? <laughs> I did not know that Glossier had a foundation. I was shopping for the Sephora savings event and then I was like, hold on, should I get this? So I did, let's check it out. They have 32 shades. This is called the Stretch Fluid Foundation for buildable coverage, it's $34. They've got a number of dark shades here. I got the shade Very Deep One. I did some swatches on my hand in the store and me and the sales associate agreed that this would be the best shade for me. So let's check it out. It says to apply one to two pumps onto clean moisturized skin and blend in for a seamless finish. It gives light to medium coverage and it's natural. The bottle is kind of sexy. Wait, is it a, oh, wait, what? Is this a pump? Hold on. <laughs> okay, it's a pump. I'm like, why is it like that? I don't want to be wiping it onto my face that way. Okay, excuse me. This, we got a pump. Okay, praise the Lord. I like the bottle. I think it's, I think it's sleek and cute. I'm not going to do anything to my face other than the skincare that I have on right now, meaning no primer. Let's just see what's, what's coming on here. Okay. Yeah, the shade looks good. This is the Morphe E63 brush. Okay, it is a little bit deeper than my skin tone, which I love. Oh yeah, this is my shade, honey. We matched this real good in the store. I be knowing, I know when I look at the shade on my wrist, which will be a good match for me. I can just tell. So far, I think it looks pretty. Very deep one, which is this one right here, has a golden undertone, which I love. I can see that it can be light and I can see that it's medium because blemishes right here, you can still see them. If you're wanting a natural finish and you're cool with a light to medium coverage, this is definitely a good option. And, and as you can see in the middle of my face, it's a little bit dark, but it matches the outer part of my face really nicely. Let's see, over the brows. Okay, we have some coverage. Yeah, it's medium. Nice and glowy and hydrating with this cooler weather. You got the heat on, your skin is drying out and, or like me, I have the AC on still. <laughs> Either way it goes, you got the HVAC system on and your skin is drying out. Hydrating foundations are the place to be for this fall, winter season for sure. And then if you feel like it's just too dewy one day, then you can change your primer underneath it to help mattify you and or use a mattifying setting powder. On the nose, I'm not getting enough coverage. I don't know if I need to add more though. I think this is beautiful if you like light to medium coverage. What's tripping me out is, I I love the shade. It's just, I like full coverage. You know me. I just need, you know, the whole nine yards, but this is really pretty. I have some rashes. I'm breaking out on my forehead. If you're wondering what those rashes are, do you have rosacea? All right, let's progress on and see how this comes together. Believe it or not, I have not tried the Sephora Best Skin Ever Concealer, or have I? I don't remember. I don't think I have. If I did, it might've been the wrong color. It's just too much. I can't deal with this. Okay, this is the shade 50N. And I felt like through, with different swatches, this would look good. And yet, wait, hold on. <laughs> Wait, I thought that this was more yellow in the store. Hold on a second. This is looking light. Oh, let's see if it's gonna blend. It's blending nicely. This could work. I do like a more golden concealer, but this could work. What made me choose this end? I don't remember why, but it's working. You know, the concealer is gonna look different based on the shade of foundation you have. And with this shade, this looks really nice. I thought it was gonna be too light, but no, this looks really good. If you try the concealer, you gotta let me know. And now, you know, we got a console with our LYS stick bronzer. This is the shade Worthy, you feel me? We're gonna go right up here. I'm gonna bring in my bronzer. Oh, this is my contour. It's called a bronzer. It's gonna give me a shadow. So for me, it's a contour. I'm putting it up more because I used to put it right here and that's too low. It's, it's gonna spread, you feel me? But I'm not gonna intentionally put it there. But here we are. And I feel like this is gonna look even deeper than usual because this foundation shade isn't that dark. Freshly cleansed brush. Then I used my Cinema Secrets, the, the liquid that dries quickly. And sometimes it just stays all stiff. It smells good. The Cinnamon Secrets Brush Cleaner, I'll link it below with all the products below as well. It smells so good. So let's house this into the hairline, you feel me? I did my decorations on my hairline. If you like it, come in, let me know. <laughs> sometimes I just do the hair back, but today I did a little something fancy for you. How do you feel? <laughs> just blend this up, you feel? There is a red undertone to this bronzer, which makes it a bronzer, but because the shade is so deep on me, it provides more of a shadow. Whatever, it looks great and I love this. Well, I used a lot today. <laughs> I used a lot today, but that's not a bad thing. I'm putting this in my hair, literally, because my raw scalp is light, as you can see. And if I don't, it'll be real light here and really dark here. So you gotta just bring this into the hairline so that it looks like your scalp is a little darker. For me, so it looks like my scalp is a little darker than it actually is. See how it ended up coming down a little bit, but just not too much. Ooh, let's get the nose together. This is a 457 brush. I dusted it and then I'm pinching it a little bit to go right down the middle of the nose. I'm still loving this Huda Beauty powder to set directly underneath my eyes. 
And then you know I live for Huda Glowish under my eyes to brighten up all of this. And this is the Sephora 99 brush. We still going powder contour because I like to make this contour as deep as possible and it just brings it all together, you know me? I'm still gonna have a natural shine. I am sure of that, especially since the foundation is hydrating. It's all gonna just get so, I imagine, delicious and creamy looking, right? But we still want powder because I just love it. And I can still see the blemishes right here in my cheek. Not the end of the world, but truly a light to medium foundation for sure. Now, it wouldn't be a makeup look if I didn't put any powder on my face. I am gonna do that. If you want to keep this still, light and medium airy not so powdery skip this part but I always put a powder on my face no matter even if I'm wearing a, a full coverage foundation it just it's a must this is the Sephora 80 brush and then this for Michael smooth this is 85 espresso and I was a dabble 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 a double double do and then all over the face not on the contour okay so around the contour on the highlight you know and definitely the forehead the area between the highlight and the contour is where i'm focusing to put this in an effort to ease out any lines of demarcation especially here under the eye i'm wanting it to fade into the contour nicely and seamlessly but i'm not putting this on the contour per se because i want that to remain okay so far i like how this looks but it's not my favorite only because it's not full coverage if this were full coverage i would be over the like over the moon about it. It's just that I want more coverage. I want this blemish to be gone. I want to cover my brows to do my makeup brows. I want this to be gone. I want to see more. <laughs> You feel me? But this would be great if that's not what you want. You feel what I'm saying? So now, of course, we're gonna do our blush golden hour from Dennis to Myricks, and I can still see my blemishes under my blush. That is unusual because that is not what I normally do. <laughs> but here we are. <laughs> we're gonna keep on going. <laughs> I love golden hour, by the way. I love orange on deep skin. Brown skin in general, okay? Brown skin in general, orange looks delicious. Definitely on deep skin, have to. And I'm building this up because wowzers. If you use this blush and love it, you gotta let me know. I'm gonna do a green smoky eye. I'm gonna take the oils off of my eyelid using this Makeup Forever loose setting powder. Oh, look at that mist. Tap off the excess. Mattify this up. This is the iconic London Smoky Eye Kajal. We've got a thicker side and a thinner side. Is that how you say it, Kajal? With the thicker side, let's twist it up a little bit and we are going to go all over the eyelid. Ooh, I haven't done a green in a while. Ooh, okay, this is a nice flat green, meaning it doesn't have any shine to it. It's not a duo chrome, it's just a nice flat green. This is nice and creamy, I must say. And so far, it doesn't look like it's gonna dry down as fast as the Fenty ones. Okay, let me just do one eye. I almost went over here, but because I don't know. Okay, let's just stick here for a second. Oh my goodness, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think I was overzealous. I was supposed to do my crease color first. Good God almighty. <laughs> Hold on, we need to add a crease color. Okay, how much time do I have? I have no idea. Let's smooth out these edges with this Sephora 24 brush. I don't need a huge one because I need to have control over this to smooth out the edges. Do you see that? Oh, this is creamy. Okay, Iconic London. I saw them in Sephora when I was there shopping for the sale. Okay. I didn't look and see this, but I did see what I feel like was an end cap that had Iconic London. Oh, that blended nicely. Look at that. And now this is a Sephora 19 Pro Crease brush, and I'm taking this reddish brown color from this favorite of mine, Huda Beauty Obsessions palette, okay? Because you know, I love a good reddish brown right up in here, baby. So right between the green color and then the concealer that's in my brow bone. Now taking the brown because there needs to be a gradient. I'm gonna go over that and we're gonna replace what needs to be replaced. Okay, I took a lot of brown. <laughs> Yo, whenever you're doing eyeshadow, depending on what you're doing, it's a whole process, you feel me? So I just wiped off the excess on the paper towel in front of me. We're gonna blend this out because I'm not trying to add any more, although I'm gonna add some right here because I do like for there to be no gap between my brow and the crease right here in the front, okay? Wiping this off and then the reddish brown, I want to reintroduce right here so that there's a nice blend. We're gonna go over the green again. We just have to get this crease together. Normally, I would've done my crease first, but I was just overzealous that I did the green first. Ooh. Here's some more reddish brown just right here, lightly blending that in. To me, that crease looks really good. Let's bring in the green again and then we'll blend it out. 
I have to say that I like how this is blending better than the Fenty. I'm just saying. That one I can see using as a smudged eyeliner, but not as an eyeshadow, not compared to this. Maybe there is magic when you bring the eyeshadow from the top to the bottom, I just love it. So I did the green Kajal right here, tightly under my eye. I did black eyeliner, which is a must, and then the brown and the reddish brown, and it's just all mixing to bring a cohesiveness to the look. Yo, there's just something about the inner eye highlight. I don't care what you say. You could leave your smoky eye without an inner eye pop, but I don't like that. So I love to use this right here. This is the shade, what? Kickball. And this is a Sephora 18 brush. Oh, I just like a lot, talking so much smack. <laughs> Even is that hold on? Okay, wipe off on the paper towel in front of you, and let's try to blend out the edges. What? <laughs> it shouldn't have came so much into the green, but that's because I was looking too much smack. Let's even it out on the other side. What in the world? Hi, mm, hello. I'm in love with this hourglass eyeliner. It is so creamy and it goes on so easily. This is the waterproof gel eyeliner. What I can say about this foundation is it does feel very light. This is the Lancome Monsieur Big mascara. I love this. It feels very light. My face just feels like I have nothing on it. So that is definitely a plus. If you're someone that feels like you can feel the foundation on you, I don't typically have that experience, but I know some of you do, then you can rest assured that this one feels nice and lightweight. Look how pretty. All right, lashes are on. And you know how much I love this Huda One Coat Mascara. Let's do a good old nude, because you know me. <laughs> This is a four collection. Number 26 lip stain, because this is just so... How can I forget? Oh my goodness. Whenever I am putting on new products, I just forget myself. I almost forgot to do my highlight, hello? And then when I get to my lips is when I remember, because this right here is supposed to be highlighted, hello? So let's take this milk highlighter in the shade is lit and put some right here to clean my hand so that if I have any liquid lip stain on it, I'm not gonna then transfer it. The lippy looks so good when up top here is highlighted. Oh, if you do this right here, let me know. It just looks so good. And then right under here, it's just very subtle. Do you see the nose? It makes a difference. How could I forget that? Back to the liquid lip stain to use as a lip liner. Somebody once asked me if I would ever get lip filler and I was just like, excuse me? Lip filler was made after someone like me, okay? <laughs> Mm -mm, no need. We block that in. And then in the middle, we're gonna do the MAC Locked Kiss Ink. This is the shade 68 Teaser. It's a peach, almost new, cool toned, but a nice peach nonetheless. It's very loose. I wish that it wasn't so sheer. It's buildable, but I wish that right off the bat, it would just had more pigment, but it works. I like this undertone a lot. You have to add so much, especially because I have the dark spots on my lips that I want to cover with full coverage lippies whenever I do my makeup. Without it, I love it. I have to always add that caveat because people love to give me advice on what to do with my lips. I didn't ask. I really do love the way that my lips look. <laughs> If you love this lip combo, it is down below. Let me know what you think about how this look came out. I'm not going to spray my face because you know, if I finish the look and it looks fantastic, spray it for what reason? Do you see how my face looks natural, glowy? Around here, there's a natural glow. You don't see dryness. You're not gonna see flaky skin. Yes, the skincare makes a difference, but the products that you use too make a difference. So I like this foundation. I gotta say, now that I've built up the face, I can see myself continuing to use this, but perhaps putting concealer here to darken up any dark spots that I might have above the brow. I mean, I use a different concealer, so I don't see an issue there, but I can see myself putting some concealer to, to, concealer to conceal that area. But I like how my skin looks. It looks healthy. It looks delicious. It looks natural. You comment and let me know, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.